if you look at us commercially, we all have a cell phone. In the military, we don't have a radio for every person, but we would absolutely love to. But it comes at the cost of increased demand and increased sophistication with how we use the spectrum. And that's just one of several examples of how we would like to better improve our spectrum usage within the military. Classically, we've described the spectrum strictly by occupancy. There are signals present or not. But as the spectrum becomes increasingly filled, we now need more veracity, more information. We have to actually say that there are signals present of a particular type. And so modulation recognition is that first step towards getting beyond just describing presence or absence, but actually describing what is present. So we're here at the IEEE Dice Band 2017 conference, where I'm really pleased that we're able to present for the first time the Battle of the Modrex. DARPA obtained a special temporary authority from the FCC to transmit over 10 megahertz of bandwidth in a time frequency grid, different modulations in a random assortment. The challenge then is for the teams to be able to receive that signal, identify where the signals were placed, and do the modulation recognition on top of them. You already know two modulations. They're on the radio in your car. Uh, AM and FM, amplitude modulation and frequency modulation. But those are just two of a number of modulations. Here at the competition, we are actually using 30 modulations that we're asking the teams to be able to tell us about. But there are hundreds of different ways of communicating information. So it's a tremendously complex problem to take on. So modulation recognition is the first step in understanding what's happening in the RF spectrum. Uh, if radios can understand primary users and identify users and then make predictions on what other people will be doing in the spectrum or what other radios will be doing in the spectrum, then we can efficiently try to fill holes and improve uh, throughput and move data through uh, wireless spectrum faster and more efficiently. One of the things I found interesting about the Battle of the Modrex is uh, the challenge aspect of it. So BAE has participated in several other challenges and it really brings new insight into the field. Uh, a lot of times you're just marching down the same train of thought and it's really not until uh, a challenge comes along that you think of things in a new way, um, really bring some disruptors into the field to take new approaches and learn new insights. So what we learned at the event was that this is a much more difficult challenge than we had anticipated when we kicked this off. It's exactly the kind of challenge that, that we want to see, and we also want to continue to push forward as we're going to publish the data that we collected for the teams to continue working on, for other teams to get access to and provide feedback. So modulation recognition is really that first step into that full situation awareness that we require for our future work in the electromagnetic spectrum.